просто вся электростанция горит, продолжает взрываться. Это просто жесть. Только что был еще один прилет, я просто максимально. US urges Russia not to play dangerous games at Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. The United States has called on Russia to return control of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant to Ukraine and asked Russia not to play dangerous games. Matthew Miller, spokesperson for the United States Department of State, said this. The Department of State noted that they are monitoring the situation at the station and have seen the official report of the International Atomic Energy Agency which notes that the damage caused by the drone strike did not jeopardize nuclear safety. Russia is playing a very dangerous game with its military seizure of Ukraine's nuclear power plant, which is the largest in Europe. It's dangerous that they've done that, and we continue to call on Russia to withdraw its military and civilian personnel from the plant to return full control of the plant to the competent Ukrainian authorities and refrain from taking any actions that could result in a nuclear incident at the plant, Miller said. On the 7th of April, Rafael Grossi, the Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency announced at least three direct strikes on the main structures of the containment vessel of one of the nuclear power plant's reactors. Grossi stressed that no one can gain any military or political benefit from attacks on nuclear facilities. It will not work. I strongly urge military decision makers to refrain from any action that violates the basic principles of protecting nuclear facilities, he wrote, without specifying which party he was addressing. The International Atomic Energy Agency announced that a drone exploded on the territory of the occupied Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. The Russians typically blamed Ukraine. Ukraine's defense intelligence said that Ukraine was not involved in any armed provocations at the occupied Zaporizhia nuclear power plant and that simulated Russian strikes on the territory of the plant were a constant practice of the Russians. Russian propagandists subverting U.S. support for Ukraine. Internal Kremlin documents show that Russian trolls have been stoking anti-Ukraine sentiment among U.S. lawmakers to undermine public support for Ukraine, which Congress has delayed since fall 2023, a Washington Post article said. The publication also cited political strategists who've contributed to writing thousands of fabricated news articles, social media posts, and comments that promote American isolationism. The Washington Post said it based its reporting on a trove of internal Kremlin documents that it had obtained from a European intelligence service. These documents are dated between May 2022 and August 2023. Ukraine has ceded territory since U.S. security assistance has stalled and has had to ration weaponry, including air defense capacity, to withstand Russia's ongoing invasion, which is benefiting from supplies from Iran and North Korea, as well as auxiliary support from China. Restrictive measures imposed by the West, Australia and Japan on Russia for warmongering have proven ineffective at stopping its war machine. The Washington Post's report came on the eve when Congress is scheduled to reconvene after a two-week recess. House of Representatives Speaker Mike Johnson promised to bring a Senate bill to the floor that includes some $60 billion in funding for Ukraine. It has been collecting dust for 55 days. Johnson claims to support assisting Ukraine. Former U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine Stephen Pfeiffer wrote in an opinion piece in Washington-based The Hill. He has multiple paths to make that happen, but he needs to take action. However, more far-right Republicans in the lower legislative chambers are calling his ouster, most notably Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, who is a believer in QAnon conspiracy theories. We are losing our country to the illegal invasion. That's happening every single day at our southern border, she told former Fox News anchorman Tucker Carlson's show on X about the Central and South American migrants that have been crossing the U.S. border by the thousands.